I use ZSH or Z shell as my shell. It is the default shell in macOS and available in any other operating system. There is no way I will ever go back to Bash. And the only other shell comparable with ZSH is Fish. Fish is great, maybe even better than ZSH, but it is not POSIX compliant, meaning that some of the commands I would use in Fish might not work elsewhere. ZSH, on the other hand, is POSIX compliant, meaning that whatever I do in it would work in any other shell, except Fish. Compatibility wins. All in all, ZSH is great, and I love it. However, ZSH alone is, well, it's just a shell. We need to extend it to make it truly great. Specifically, there are three must-have plugins. With those we'll explore today, ZSH gets transformed from yet another shell to I cannot live without it. So, here it goes. Here are the three must-have ZSH plugins that will transform the way you work. The first must-have plugin is ZSH Syntax Highlighting. It highlights the commands we type in ZSH. This is a must-have plugin because it helps you catch typos and syntax errors before you hit enter. At the same time, it makes commands we type much, much, much more readable by applying well, colors. If, for example, I type echo, I can immediately see that there is no such command since it is in red. I made a typo. The correct command is echo with H. Now, if I do type the echo command correctly, it turns into green, while the text I type is yellow. We'll execute a few other commands, not only to show syntax highlighting, but also to generate a bit of history for the plugin that follows, the one that comes next. The command is green and the arguments are in white. The same can be said for the following two commands. Now, you might say that syntax highlighting is not that important, and you would be right. It's not, but it's nice to have. The next one, however, is a life changer. The ZSH Auto Suggestions plugin is a must-have. It is a time saver. Take a look at this. I can start typing a command like docker and the last command that starts with docker will be suggested to me. If that's what I want to run, I can just press the right arrow key to complete the command. In some other cases, I might not want to rerun the last command that starts with docker, but some other command that also starts with docker. If that's the case, I can just type docker, hold the option key and press the arrow key right twice to reach docker container run. Now, that's not the command I want to run either. I do know that the next argument was dash dash detach, so I can now start typing dash dash d and that's the one I want to run. Now I can press the right arrow key to autocomplete the command. That command should fail since I'm already running a container with the same name. That should not matter. What matters is that with the ZSH Auto Suggestions plugin, I can autocomplete commands in a way that I never could before, and that saves me a lot of time. And more importantly, it allows me to avoid remembering all the commands and arguments I would need to use. However, sometimes I do not remember the first few arguments of a command I should run, and I might want to go through history to find it. That's where the third plugin comes in. Typically, I would execute the history command and pipe the output to grep to find the command I'm looking for. With ZSH history substring search, finding commands from the history becomes much, much, much easier and faster. Let's say that I would like to list all the containers and that I bumped my head earlier this morning and forgot the command to do so. I can start typing docker container and press the up arrow key to go through history until I find docker container ls and just press the enter key to run it. Now, to be clear, that was a silly example. Say from having amnesia, I would never forget the ls command. So let's try something that I would likely forget. Let's say that I would like to run alpine container that sleeps for a second. I can do that by typing docker container run and press arrow up or down keys until I find the command I'm looking for and press the enter key. That's it. 
Those are three must-have ZSH plugins that you can install directly on top of ZSH or as part of All My ZSH. I stopped using All My ZSH a while ago due to performance issues and simply because I do not need it anymore. So I tend to install those plugins directly on top of ZSH. If you're interested, I can explain why I abandoned All My ZSH in another post or another video. For now, all I will say is thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.